I love that they don't have much... Well, I, I do and I don't love that they don't have much torpor. Whoa, what happened? What? Oh, no. Howdy, folks, and welcome back to Ark Pugnacia Adventures on Ragnarok on the Crazy Folk server. And I'm out here in a very interesting place to show you something. Where am I on the map? Well, I'm over here, which is technically beyond the world border. I'm out. I, I'm admin on the server, so I was able to ghost through the border. And I came out here to, to show you kind of the craziness going on in Ragnarok right now, which is that we're getting, at least with Pugnacia, we're getting all sorts of animal spawns out here where you can't possibly tame them. And unfortunately, uh, I, I wanted to start today going out and getting a, uh, a conflagrant dire bear because I, I like dire bears and I'd never had a conflagrant one. And uh, the two highest levels, the two 840s on the server, happen to be out here. <laughs> I know I'm not going to tame them out here. That, that's, that's not cool. Um, I mean, I can always go do a, uh, a, 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 wipe, a dino wipe, a wild dino wipe, and, uh, and hope that I can get more to spawn higher levels, 840s to spawn somewhere within the borders of what's been created. Um, but it's just interesting. I just had to see what was out here because the... Uh, uh, S plus transmitter reported that they were out here. So I just was really curious what was out here. And here we go. This is what's out here. Is that the conflagrant dire bear? It sure is. 840 female right there. I don't know what it does, but it's out here. <laughs> I just wanted to show that to you guys. So what we're going to do now is I think I'm going to head back. I think I'm going to do a, a dino wipe. See if I can get an 840 to show up inside the barrier. If not, then I'll have to settle for one of the lower level ones, I guess. I've done a destroy wild dinos. I had to log out of the server. Usually on these ARC servers, especially the modern ones, when you do that, you uh, you get kicked. So I tend to do it and log off quickly. So it's happened. The server has come back to life. Let's run up to our S plus transmitter and go ahead and scan for dinos. See if we can find the conflagrant dire bears and see if there are any of them. Okay, there's no more 840s. And now we're getting 7280. That's going to be out in the in the no man's land. Uh, anything in the 70s, 80s on longitude is going to be too far away. Uh, looks like 6570. Let's take a look on the map real fast and see where 6570 is. So bring up the map. Uh, okay, so 65. You can tell it's already too far down. Yeah, this is no man's land. This is not part of the map. So 65, it's already too far gone. We can only go down to about as far as 50-ish. So... Oops, close that map. Let's look again. So what's the next highest leveled? Okay, I'll eventually get there. Next highest leveled uh, conflagrant dire bear if I really want one, and I do. 7580 is too far away. 70, 50, 80, 80, that's too far away. Um, I think that's too far away. Is, is 86, 5386 too far away? How far can I go on the longitude side? I can go to 86. I might be able to squeeze that one in. No, did it say 53? I don't think I can. I don't think I can go that far down. Literally about 50 is it. Unless it's on the near side. So, Conflagrant Dire Bear. What's the highest one that's in a decent place? Yeah, we're all the way down here. Oops, pardon me. All the way down here. No, 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 no. Well, actually, did I see a 40-something? 54? I don't think any of them are. Okay, here we go. A 308 at 42, roughly 4284. 4284, writing this down so I don't have to keep looking back. 4284, let's take a look. map. 42 is within range. 84 is way out there at the far extreme of the Redwoods, I think. Well, let's go, let's go take a peek. Uh, pop off charm and fly out to 4284. Uh, from where we are, that's going to be pretty much straight east, right? So let's bring up this guy and let's head pretty much straight that way. 42-ish, 84-ish. It's going to be somewhere in this range. Uh, 42 and a half, roughly. 
84. So down here, we're looking at. Is this where our conflagrant is going to be? Fly around a bit and see if we can find it. Uh, I don't see a dire bear. There's a dire bear right there, and that looks like it actually. Looks conflagrant to me. Uh, that's a regular dire bear. Never mind. <laughs> Oh, that might be it. Let's take a look at this one. Conflagrant, 308. There it is. All right, well, see what a conflagrant can do. Let's start knocking the sucker out. You out? You're out. Stupid micro raptors. Or whatever they are. Arches. Okay. You're down. What are you? What are you? Oh, dung beetle. All right, let's go ahead and put one of these in. And, whoop, oh, didn't even need it. A greenie. I was going to put a greenie in there. Let's say, what? I'm trying to get out of this thing. There we go. All right, well, let's bag this guy. Uh, is it a guy? Let's bag this guy. And bag, we say, let's cube this guy now. Hello. There we go. Cube. Use. Bring back. Pick up. Head back. Get a saddle. See what this thing can do. Because I have no clue what a conflagrant dire bear does. Oh, hello. Manticore. All right, back at base. Uh, I don't think there... I know there's not a special saddle for dire bears. Uh, for conflagrant dire bears. Yeah, so you're just going to make a regular old dire bear saddle, which is a smithy. That's not smithy. A smithy craft. Hello. <laughs> uh, bear. Well, that's not... Really? I thought it was a smithy craft. Maybe it's in my hands. Is it really in my hands? Oh, it is. What do you know? Smithy paste, fiber, and hide. Okay, we have what we need now. So, bear, dire bear... Oh, a fiber. Why, what did I pick? Oh, I picked two hides. I thought, <laughs> I, thought I grabbed a stack of fiber. Uh, wow. My brain is really working great now. Uh, there's a stack of fiber. There we go. Bear. Or, uh, what, what do we call that in dark and light? I don't even remember now anymore. There we go. Craft, thank you. <laughs> Crafting is still kind of weird. You, you click it and nothing happens. And you click it again and you start craft. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, Increase the quality of this saddle, this here saddle, so we can get a good saddle on this guy. Attempt an upgrade. Yeah, let's get this thing up to the highest level quality using the upgrade station. And again, this is even weird because sometimes you click on it and it works, and sometimes you click on it and it doesn't. That is an ascendant, so we're already at our top. All right, now we're going to augment the armor. I only have eight armors. Let's just use those eight. Let's not bother making any more right now. We probably don't need any more, right? I mean... I'm going to feel armor reagent. Can't increase the armor anymore. 325 is the max. Okay. All right. Well, let's. Uh, I don't want carrying anything extra, am I? Nope, I don't think so. Let's go take a look at our dire bear. Um, you are a dude, right? Yeah, you are. Oh, you know what? Oh, I know exactly what to call you. Uh, what's your name? Uh, name? 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 Options? Are you kidding me? Really? I know that they can't, the, uh, the Pugnacia monother has pointed out that uh, the, they, since they haven't released the developer's kit, he can't um, get these radio menus to work. Uh, so in other words, to change behavior, you have to whistle, basically, and apparently you can't change its name. So <laughs> I do want to open up the Pugnacia guide for the Conflagrant Dire Bear to see if there's any indication here about what it does. Usually there isn't. Uh, we used Instant Golden Kibble. Breedable, yes, it is a dire. We'll create honey when on wander. There you go. We'll create honey when on wander. Well, let's, uh, first of all, oh, I can't make him wander. Or can I? Wait a minute. Enable wander. That's right. The Pugnation mod author put enable wander on the uh, radio menu at the top to avoid that problem with the developer's kit. So does he just create it from scratch, or do I have to put something in his inventory? Or does he just automatically create honey? Oh, he just automatically creates honey. Oh, my gosh. Disable wander. That's cool. I was going to name him Smokey, because he's got that kind of fire on his nose. 
you know, Smokey Bear in the U.S. Only you can prevent forest fires. Only you. I was going to name him that, but I can't name him anything right now. It sucks. What's over there? What are you? Oh, okay. Uh, let's see, we got a lot of levels. Uh, I think a little bit into speed, but then again, most of it doesn't really need to go into speed because these guys have a base speed that never really increases when you start, and then it gets faster and faster as you as you sprint. As you can see, he's getting faster and faster. It's kind of like a rhino in that regard. Let's come on out here and see if we can kill any of this guy, like this Carno. He's the claw! Claw! Claw's not doing that much damage. The claw! Well, I can flend the uh, spiny dragon over there. Wants a little piece of me. We might get these guys killed eventually. There we go. We got the Carno. Now we have a dire wolf and we have the, uh, the frozen spiny dragon. There we go. Glacial thorny dragon. Thorny dragon, spiny dragon. Oh, and you woke up, Doty. What do you want? Okay. Uh, obviously, he needs more melee. A lot more melee. <laughs> What's his health at? Uh, 13,500. Yes, hello, I know you're there. I'll go up to 20 on you. And the rest on melee. We'll see what we can do against this stupid... 3,000, not bad. On the claw. Regular bite, well, now he's in shell form, so it's reduced, but... It's uh, not quite as much as the claw. I love the claw. The claw! A glacial packy rhino. The claw! <laughs> nice. Okay, so this guy will make honey when he's on wander. Hello, guys. What's out there? What's out there? I saw something special. Oh, no. Oh, it's a... Uh, oh, that's a dodo wyvern. Look at that thing just flying away over there. Oh, hi. You stupid healing guy. I hate these guys. Hate them. Hate them. Hate them. Hate them. In fact, I can't do anything about him. They're, they're going to get me. I can't uh, do enough damage to take them out. That's the problem. So I'm going to have to go run into my base and get something that can actually take them out. Well, are they even following me? No. Uh, let's do a little bit more melee. Don't need that. Don't really need any of this. We'll leave the food in there for him. There's another dodo wyvern. A couple of them spawned here. Oh, interesting. Let's spawn where the old uh, ice wyvern spawns are that have been removed. Jump. Because everything jumps. Well, the conflagrant tire bear doesn't jump. Is that what kind of, is that just a red Cali or whatever? Or is that like some kind of a special alpha version or something? What do we got over here? Oh look! You, 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 Tyrannus. See you, Tyrannus. It was a Cali. You're just a special... You're a regular unit, Tyrannus. Okay, but a pretty high level, decent high level one. Awesome. Okay, this guy's uh, coming along. Oh, what's this? Oh. Oh. That's a new reward I didn't know about. From you, Tyrannus. Rid of all this. Awesome. Let's go get this guy leveled up and see what he can do. See if he can take on like a Titanosaur or something eventually. Well, here's our first big test, I guess. A, gl a Glacial Giga. Hello, Mr. Glacial Giga. How are you? We'll use the claw on you. Let's see if we can get you. Oh, we're going to need some. Oh boy, we're going to definitely need some of these things. Um, yeah, uh, that's hurting a lot. That's hurting a ton. We're going to use another one of those real soon here. Oh, wow. Boy, we're not doing so well. This might not be a good test for the Conflagrant Dire Bear. 784, he's even a really high level one, too. Almost the highest level we have. 840 being the highest level. Are we even doing damage to this guy? Oh, oh gosh, no, we aren't. We're getting the heck out of here. We're getting the heck out of Dodge, guys. 
if we can. Go, 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 go. If he doesn't attack me, my speed will increase enough to get away from him. There we go. I gotta avoid stopping accidentally. Let's see if he'll attack that thing. Nope, he's attacking me. Oh boy. Oh boy. Move! Move, move, move. We're gonna jump. We're gonna jump for it. We're gonna jump for it. It's our only hope. It's our only hope. Jump! And... Are we gonna hit the water? We are. I shouldn't have to bail. We should survive. I hope. The question is, is he coming? I think he's behind us. But he might have gotten out of draw distance and gone into stasis, which would have just saved our lives. Wow. Wow. Man, that was close. Of course, I probably could have gotten out of there a lot faster if I just teleported, but wow. He is not ready for a glacial giga. He's not ready for anything. Spino, maybe. Come over here and take out a Spino. There we go. Well, that's a Salmon, not a Spino. Oh, no, that's the Giga. That's the Giga. He's after us. Oh, crap. That's the Spino. I, know. I see the Spino. The Giga is real slow in the water. Let's go ahead and try to take the Spino out. Spino's still coming. Okay. Okay, got the Spino. Giga is still coming. We're going to have to teleport out of here, guys. It's the only way we're going to be able to get away from this guy. Oh, no, he stopped. Woo! Woo, that's scary. Very scary. Very, very scary. Get over here. Kind of recover a little bit. Oh, what we're going on here? A raptor. Hello, raptor. All right, are you done coming after me, man? Leave me alone. Okay, it's pretty clear he needs a little bit more health. No matter what. That's crazy. Hello, raptor, you idiot. I might not be able to take a glacial giga, but I can take a raptor. Wow. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, we need more health potions. I, I didn't know we were so low on those anyway. So let's head back, get a little more health potions, and then level up a little more slowly. How's that? So I'm out here in a swamp because uh, I figured, you know, the dire bear was kind of a flop, so I thought I would tame something else that's kind of cool. So I saw a kind of flagrant um, Beezle Buffo, a frog, level 840. It's out here. I've seen it in the water. But I was coming out here to find it, on charm and uh, was attacked by some sort of super baryonyx and it actually killed me very quickly and uh, charm was floating above the water and I came back in here and I cannot find charm for the life of me there's no kill record I think over here is uh, that's either the visible floor actually I don't think that's the one because it looks conflagrant it looks like it's on fire it was being chased by a bunch of piranha it might even be dead by now um, it's not dead. Charm is not dead. I've flown all around here. This is exactly where I was. I was heading to coordinates 5220, basically. And I'm, uh, I'm darn close to 5220. If I come in here a little bit, this is 20. And it was actually like 19.5. And 52 is over here. So I was pretty much here. Uh, just inside that water, I was going underwater looking for. You know, let me see. I'm not seeing him. Jay doesn't do any good to bring him up. So I I don't know what happened. Yeah, I was underwater looking for the Biza Buffo, and I think those are the piranhas. So I think they killed it finally. I don't think it's around anymore. It's not that purple one there. It's a it's kind of a got kind of, you know the conflagrant color. It's got kind of a fiery kind of tone to the front of it um so i am gonna need a new reindeer a new rudolph i think because no kill message but he's just gone you know he can survive underwater but he wasn't underwater he was on top of the water and he wasn't helping me because i was stuck under the water 
And even though I had whistled for him to be neutral uh, before I died, I heard that whistle and I could see he was real close. So I know he got it. Uh, at least I hope he did. Um, so I don't think he, uh, I don't think he passed it. Well, he didn't die. I mean, there's no, no death record. And I don't think he would have gone underwater or stayed underwater for that matter. I can't really go under in this guy. It'll kick me in Spitfire. But um, yeah, he's not here anywhere. I am just dumbfounded. I don't know where he is. So yeah, I guess that's the next thing we need to do is find another Rudolph. And when you know it, right up from my uh, my base, here's a Rudolph, the highest one on the server, which is not a, an 840 or whatever, unfortunately. And he's down. <laughs> Love that they don't have much. Well, I, I do and I don't love that they don't have much torpor. Whoa, what happened? What? Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh my, I didn't even know that that Mega Pick Picolicus was there. No. No. My Rudolph. I lost two Rudolphs. Thank you, Spitfire, for saving my life, but dang it. Dang it. Dang it. How come I can't get on Spitfire? Okay, we're back after down a wipe, and we have another Rudolph. This one's higher level. Boom. Oh, 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 I hit him twice. Oh, but it's okay. It's an instant tame. I thought he was going to run. Yay. Please tell me there's no Megapithecus nearby. <laughs> we're just going to get... Oh, I can't name him, so I better name him now. So we're going to say uh, Charmed Wife. There we go. Uh... Uh, what's going on? I can't escape. Use. There we go. Pick up. All right, Spitfire. <laughs> Let's get out of here. We're right by our base again. The Rudolph spawn here. It's awesome. Which is how Charmed initially got stuck on there, I'm sure. He probably got chased away by something and ended up getting stuck on there. The Ice Wyvern's up there because I was hoping for an update to Pugnacia that would uh, include him... And uh, that just hasn't happened yet because, obviously, of the developer's kit. So we'll just wait on that. And uh, we're just going to leave him up there because he's a real good level one. Woohoo! All right, Rudolph. There you are. Stop following me. Uh, get on the ground. Oh, what? Oh, he needs a saddle. That's right. Why are you wandering? Oh, you're just landing, I think. Okay. He needs a saddle. A, sa a saddle. All right, let's uh, reload this thing as we go. So we always have a full mag in there. Um, let's see here. A saddle. He takes a regular old, right? He doesn't take a Rudolph saddle. He takes a regular Megapithecus saddle. No. Megalosaurus saddle. That's not Megalosaurus. That's not a Megalosaurus. Right? No, that's a, what? Uh... Megaloceros, not Megalosaurus. They're very close. Uh, Megalania. Megaloceros. Megalosaurus. 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 Megatherium. Is this it? I, I get, there's two of them that are so similar now in their names. Megalosaurus. Let's craft it. I don't know anymore. I don't know. Uh, so what's this one? Megalosaurus. And that's a Megaloceros. Megalosaurus? Megaloceros. <laughs> I think I have the right one. Um, you know what? For right now, I'm not going to bother upgrading him and stuff. Let's just take him up real fast and see what he's like. Uh, is it a he, by the way? It is a he. Yes. All right. Now you're a higher level than level 1025 now. It was 700 something, I think, when I tamed it. So speed is horrible. So <laughs> that's where that goes. Let's try 300 speed. Mm, not as fast as Charmed was. We'll probably end up going to like 500, probably. That's decent. Eh, it's decent. Okay, we'll take another speed, sure. What's your base damage like, buddy? Let's go at... Whoa, whoa, jerky jerky. 
Let's go over here. 641. Can I kill you? There we go. If I get a kill, I can get some more XP from that. Uh, there we go. Let's try 450 on the speed. Let's see what this does. Does this seem like Charmed? I think Charmed was a little bit faster. We'll go 480. Hello, guy who almost killed me. You're not the same one, but you know what I mean. That's pretty good. Right? I mean, that's a decent speed. Whoa, whoa. What were those yellow bits? Did, was I attacked? I guess I was attacked. Ooh. I guess I was. All right. Um, let's go for some damage. I'm going to go one more speed. There we go. What kind of damage are we going to do? Uh, where did you go? Thing that almost killed me. You went somewhere else. Let's go into this fray and see what we can do. We're doing decent damage. Not getting our butt kicked yet. Yeah, there you go. Ah, nice. Good kills. Good kills. Oh, wow. Griffin? Come on. Kill the RG. Kill the Griffin. Spelled wrong. RG's tougher than the Griffin. There we go. All right. All killed. There's the guy who was trying to kill us. And there's a dung beetle. Okay. Uh, speed, I think, is pretty good. Give him some more health. Get up to about 50k. Um, you know, I'll just round up his stamina, even though I don't think he needs it. And then the rest into melee. I'm pretty sure his speed is fine, right? Yeah, that's fine speed. Right? Okay. <laughs> 10,000 already damage. Guys, I think that's going to do it for this episode. I did not plan on having this be a Rudolph replacement episode, but that's the way it turned out. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>